Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. This week we've got three card making projects as normal, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the basis of all the projects are going to be using the Anna Griffin Charlotte Designer Collection. Anything else that I use, I will obviously tell you as we go on. But today the main focus is just the collection. We're not using anything else other than a card base. So when I do use other items, if I don't tell you, I'll always put them in the description box below. So the first thing that I've got is a card base, and this is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. This is probably going to be one of the very quickest and easiest cards that I've ever made. So I've got my card base, it's in ivory. Now, the one thing I have done is I've cut an aperture out of the front of the card. Now, for any new crafters, an aperture is basically a posh word for a hole. So I've cut a hole out of the front of my card, and that is roughly two inches square. So you can use a die, or you could use a craft knife, or you could use a knife and a ruler, or scissors if you're very good at cutting straight lines. It's up to you how you cut that, but I used a die, and I was able to run it through my cutting machine, because the width of the card is less than the actual width of the plate. And I simply placed the die on the top of the card, positioned it in the centre and ran it through. And it's my own die and I'm sure a lot of the card makers have already got a square die that would make an aperture like that. So that is how I got the hole in the front of my card. Now, as always, I'm going to use a bone folder to make sure I've got a good sharp score along the edge of the card. So turning to the inside of our card, the first thing that I'm going to do is from the Charlotte collection from Anna, there's a bag of embellishments and this is one of the embellishments that's actually in the bag. I've got double sided tape on the back of it that I'm simply going to peel off and what I want to do is position this so it's roughly where the aperture is on the front of the card. So you would see it from the front. Now I'm going to try and get it straight, but I'm not looking overhead at it. I'm looking slightly on an angle through a camera and round a camera. So you'll have to forgive me if it's not quite straight. So that sits nicely in our aperture and that's the only thing we're going to do for the inside next we're going to turn our attention to the outside so again from the Charlotte collection I've cut a square of card that fits the front of our card and I have to be um, honest, I've used a die again to cut the aperture out of it. And I've got double sided tape on the back. So I am just made sure that the aperture was slightly bigger than the aperture that we've already cut in the card. So then I can position this on the front of our card as a base layer. So that's our first layer going on. Next I've cut another square from the Charlotte collection and the square that I've cut in the centre to create the aperture is the same size square that I used to create the aperture in the card that we're using. I've got double sided tape on the back and I'm simply going to peel this away and then attach this to the card over the previous layer and it will sit just about there so it forms a double layer around our aperture or window so next what I've done is, again from the embellishment pack from the Charlotte collection, there's two of the gold leaves. I've put foam pads on part of it 
and I've simply taken the backs of them away already and I've slightly curled it using my bone folder just by dragging it across and pulling slightly to give it a little bit of a curl and I'm going to simply position this onto our card and then the second one exactly the same I've taken the backs of these away already just double checking and I'm going to position this to the top of our card like that and then in the bag of embellishments you also get some embellishments that have got sentiments on so this is the one that says love you all I've done for this I've added 3d foam just in the section that's going to touch the card at one side and I'm going to stick that simply in the corner like so and then to finish the card I've got a little satin bow and I've already added 3d foam on the back of this now I've got a good choice here of where I can put my bow I can either put it in one corner I can put it on the sentiment I could put it at the top of the actual flower on the sentiment but I think it looks kind of nice at this side in this corner it just makes it look a little bit different and that is our card finished so we open it up and you can see some of the workings of the bits and pieces that you've put on the only thing I will say where I've made a boo-boo my tape has just gone slightly over the top of the leaf that we've put on but I've managed to cover all the 3d foam that you can't see it but just be aware when you're placing your embellishments on as to when you open it whether you can see the tape or not because you might have trouble if you can when you fold it if it sticks together so on this side where we've got the backboard you can stamp it if you want I've left mine blank because I think it just adds a little bit of colour to the back of the flower and the embellishments but you've got room on there for your, set, um, for your words and your messages obviously you'll be able to put yours on straight because you're not reaching around this camera that's on a tripod and you're not sort of struggling to see so that actually is a really pretty card it's a quick and easy card it's got a little bit of height to it but not too much so it'll still go in your envelope it stands up nicely if it was on a mantelpiece or a windowsill and it is just simply pretty so I'd like to thank you so much for watching remember this week we're just solely focusing on the Charlotte collection from Anna um, I think Wednesday we're going to go a little bit more advanced maybe using some glitter stickers but this week that's our main in, uh, focal point that we're going to use to show different designs that you can get from the same kit so I'd like to thank you so much for watching please give me the thumbs up there's plenty more videos to see um, if this isn't your thing maybe there's something else that you know you prefer to look at there's a lot of choice now so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time